why is the world 523 full? 43 is full. This one doesn't even have anything. All of these have something in common, like there's Blast Furnace, there's Winter Todd, this one has nothing. A couple days ago, there was a guy who had an idea, if you bring enough people to the uh, Squirk minigame, that's where you level up thieving, where you can get caught by these spirits, but if there's like hundreds of players, then only very few of them will get caught, and the rest of them will completely AFK train thieving. Not completely AFK, but heavily, heavily AFK train. Now, to play the minigame, apparently you need like um, Graceful, uh, the Endurance Ring would help as well, which I don't have, so I probably will not use it. But you also need beer glasses. So I checked up the price, and instead of selling for 28 coins, they're selling for 1,000 each. Which makes me think now, can I buy actually for 1k each? And if I can, couldn't you just buy beer and drink it? So they're going for 450 each. Also curious how much Ring of Endurance has changed from 29 mil to 33 mil. Okay, so that's a 4 million increase in price. That's not too bad. Can I buy one for 34 mil? Yes. Wow, that sold for exactly 34 mil. Then we take the dual ring and we go to Alcarid PvP Arena. Again, I'm not sure if the inventory is good. Oh, I start seeing more and more people with Graceful. This guy's running. This is where you exchange at that Osman guy. Look at everybody. Oh, that guy. All of this. I love like when community gets together to do something. I cannot believe that somebody revived the minigame. Like no nothing even happened to the min minigame. There was no update where they made it like, oh, something super powerful. Nope. You may remember this minigame. There's like four gates that you can go through. And I believe this is based on your theming level. And you have to pick the fruit. But when you're going through here, oh, that guy's more going with me. You can get caught by these spring elementals and then you get kicked back. Ah, uh, that sucks. But when you have this many people, yes, then, well, whoever's unlucky getting caught, too bad for that guy because I'm running. Can you just click on it? Is it, is it like that? Is it like as simple as, I just want to check it out because that guy, oh, that guy got caught. I saw. See, there's those spirits are actually teleporting people out. That somebody got maybe teleported. You can constantly see they're looking at something, but they maybe... They're not even casting anything. So you pick it, and you should be teleported back to the starting area. This is normal. And then you just keep repeating this. In other words, theming is now AFK. Can you open the gate, or is it... Oh, you can. I thought it was going to be annoying, you know? Where you can't get stuck on the gate. You click on it, and it goes through the, the, this whole thing. You don't really get the full theming experience until you actually crush it and you put it in the beer glass, and then you give it to the Osman. I'll show you that later on. So I really want to train this up, because I, I still, I clicked only one time so far, one time. And I'm gonna pick this. So it's not really one click and you get the thieving experience, because you once you spawn here, you have to click once on the door, and then once you get through the door, then you click one more time again. And yes, that makes thieving completely AFK. I am so glad I'm not 99, and I didn't use some heavy click intense method like Ardo Knights or something. I never liked that. I was more of a pyramid guy myself. But yeah, we shall find out the XP rates because they are saying that it's approximately 150k XP an hour. Look at all these. Boom, boom, boom. I'm assuming this is what people like uh, grabbing the fruits. And I'm going to assume that there are multiple of these smokes. It's every single tick. Look, pew, 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 pew. Every tick. Every tick someone's picking the fruit. How crazy is that? Not a single tick was skipped so far. Guys, we cannot even escape Winter Todd's while thieving these squirks. This guy says, why run? Okay, so it looks like one stamina potion is enough. You don't need three of them. But you would need a couple of them if you do not have Ring of Endurance. So technically, the ring is just for like convenience. Because otherwise, you just take extra inventory slot. And I don't think it's that big of a deal. The biggest question out of all is, can you bank these? And the answer is you can. Since you cannot eat them, there's no way to like misclick and just use a spam. Yeah, yep, yep. And you make these summer squirt juice, which gives plus three thieving. Wait, oh, you need like two of them to make one? Because I was like, wait, where, where the hell is it? Why, why did I make only 12? You know, only making 12 out of 24 fruits is actually good because that means you have to run between the bank and this guy two times less. Because if you made one from each, it would just take you two times longer. I have some juice for you. 36,000. I, I was not expecting that big XP drop. I got 36,000 experience for 12 juices. Because once you finish, once the inventory is full, you can teleport directly maybe to the bank, like close to Edgeville or something, and then you can teleport back to Alcarid. And when you teleport to Alcarid, if you have the diary completed, you can just go through the big window and it will get you very, very close. I love this community. Only 
these guys get caught and then somebody asks what do you do with them he says drink them drink the juice you don't get the experience if you drink the juice what if the guy is gonna keep drinking it now where's the thieving xp come in then <laughs> we're doing this for farming xp <laughs> said anything about thieving you have to drink the squirk which is actually work on some people when i drink the squirk juice nothing happens question mark another interesting thing i noticed is that you cannot bring pets in this mini game so if you try to drop it it says your pet stays in your pack frightened by something however you can see some rocky pets that guy has a rocky pet and there was another rocky pet and it's one in ten thousand chance or almost so somebody got lucky got it but once he fills the inventory he has to leave and you will not be able to bring it back, I assume. Bro, please let me in. I just got six hours logged. I cannot log back in for the past five minutes. Been constantly clicking. World is full. World is full. Something that I've seen very often as well. People saying that I totally forgot a rogue's outfit. It gives double squirk. And then you're like, oh my god, I've been doing this for like 20 hours. And I've been getting a single squirk per tree. But of course, it is a lie. Did you see that? Did did. That was that dragon hunter crossbow that somebody dropped. Look, look, look at everybody saying this. Bro, what? What? I've been doing this for like, I don't know, 15 hours or so. And I've seen many items being dropped. Like abyssal whips, awakened orbs, which are like 1 mil each. Some lower level items as well. But never anything like above like 2 million. And it's just dragon hunter crossbow. Like boom, just bam like that. You see these popping things, right? Sometimes it pops here. But sometimes I notice that some people are picking actual herbs and it seems to be iron men who are doing this and it, i guess they need like high level herbs or something but you also see a bunch of herbs always dropped like here there would be a line of low level herbs kind of like this man until or yeah this man until that's just uh probably not nothing good so i'm gonna pick one just to see what the hell is that all about because it's also oh you get teleported back you get two herbs or oh, get guam and man until it is a shorter walk as well because that tree is like well very deep in the maze while this herb you could just pick like this but it doesn't seem like it would be very efficient actually i want to see the farming xp draw because from the tree you get 60 experience i want to see if it's the same thing if you pick this herb and you get 50 so wait you get less xp and you also don't get thieving experience also but you do get the herbs i guess and i got again the same ones also found out that i've been doing this thing a little bit wrong you're supposed to actually take these beer glasses with you with the pestle and mortar so you can crush two fruits and make a beer glass in other words you can and stay in here two times longer if you take beer glasses and instead of empty inventory so i've been collecting these quirks for the past couple days or so i would say definitely not the full day and sometimes i would afk for a little bit too long but i think this may have enough to make like a thousand of these squirt juice i have like uh, yeah that's like 500 right there yeah, that will be actually almost exactly uh, 1000 squirt so i'm going to assume that you cannot note these squirt juices yep so we'll have to do one inventory at a time can you use a squirt on this guy instead i have some squirt juice for you nice you don't have to go through the whole dialogue so this whole inventory gives 84,000 theming experience and you can keep doing this over and over and over now obviously when i was pick, um you know stealing those squirks you were not getting any theming experience at all this is where you get the whole thieving xp so all those 20 hours that i did i haven't gained actually a single thieving experience and that's another 84,000. that's a level 93 how much xp until next level but what how many inventories is that? Like eight or something to get 700k XP? Yeah, that's doable. Oh, that was 94. I, I missed it. It's actually, I think I'm going to spam this. My team level is nine, uh, 93 and then it's 94. Yeah, that should be... 95 theming which i already got a level like actual like three four minutes ago and that's so that that's a, another level actually it's showing as 14 million xp an hour so it seems that you could get all the way from I, I guess you can do it minimum from 65 at least that room that everyone's doing you could collect all the way to 99 from 65 to 99 and it would take you exactly almost one hour running from the bank to this guy and that is going to be the last level here got me all the way to 96 last one with 717 k experience remaining almost 10 million teaming experience in total very nice i'm probably not gonna go all the way to 99 because i still do not have rocky pet and like the way the meta to get to rocky pet i believe it's like um phenomenic uh stalls that's where you uh, steal the fish and the fur and stuff like that it's like one in twenty thousand. it gives very little experience but if you're unlucky on the pet, you actually may get that 3 million experience. Now, if you want to do this method yourself, you must be aware that certain people get caught 
all the time. And it's not even based on PID, like player identification number, you know, like who's getting the priority. If, if like two players clicking on the same item to pick it up, there's only one player is gonna pick it up, obviously. Someone who has higher priority, who has higher PID. So this guy's saying, is this quirk thing is just a big troll operation or am I seriously this unlucky? People keep saying that they haven't been gotten caught for hours and hours, yet I get caught nine times out of 10. Is there a trick to this other than just click the tree and run? I've tried running, walking, starting off from each of the other tiles, waiting, following my other account, re-logging, waiting 12 plus hours, and I still get caught nine times out of 10. What is going on? So I gotta tell you that I haven't been caught a single time in like 15 hours, at least the first day. But then later I started getting caught just a little bit, but it kind of fixed itself on its own because it wasn't all the time. Like this guy says nine out of 10. So certain unlucky players will get this thing going on. Yes, so this guy posted a picture. You can see the timestamps as well. 2119 goes all the way to 2122. So in the span of only three minutes, this guy got caught like 20, 30 times or something like that. So every single time he goes in, he gets caught. And it's not even pit people found out it's not it, it, you have to change your IP address if you have a VPN try switching your IP with VPN and it will most likely fix itself or if you have a mobile with mobile data don't use Wi-Fi just use mobile data instead or if you're using mobile data, try using Wi-Fi. This guy says, my first hour yesterday, I got caught zero times. The next time I tried, I was caught seven to nine times in a row, multiple times. It's rough when you get caught constantly. He says, it seems your luck is tied to your network. On Wi-Fi, I was getting caught 90% plus of the time. Switched to data on mobile and haven't been caught in hours. People there are claiming VPN works as well. This guy also posted a couple days ago that his squirk success rate for getting 100 fruits is only 14%, bro. Oh, that sucks so much. I hope the people who are doing this actually realize that there's something wrong and they just don't continue doing this at very low success rate when it's supposed to be close to 100%. VPN companies, when the squirkers realize Colombian VPN solved the pit issues. But yeah, that's about it. If you hate thieving, you should definitely check out the squirking. Oh God, I'm gonna squirk. Ah.